In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Easter flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel over here. We make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using if you want to download and make a copy of this i'll use it in your flyers your designs you can download it and in case you do and you want me to see you can send it over on my instagram twitter or tiktok also don't forget to join our telegram channel so that you'll be updated with all the resources that are available and trainings that are coming up now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so first things first in photoshop we are going to create a new document so control n we do that and we are going to create a four by four inch document now once you select that you can go ahead and click on create the first thing we want to do here is to add a background so we are going to add a solid background so you go to the create new fill adjustment over here you click on that and then you can select a solid color you are going to use this color right over here if you want to use the exact same thing but of course you can go around and select any other color if you don't want this one so this is the color that we are using now you go ahead and then you click ok the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in this texture easter eggs that i got from freepik i got most of the resources that i'm using from freepik and even the 3d test that i used i got it from freepik it is a premium version but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave the actual link to download for free that's my way of saying thank you for watching my videos so you can check the description for the link so you go to file place embedded and you're going to select the texture over here i'm going to open it up to fill the entire canvas and it's already white so you can barely see the colors over here so what you can do actually is you can right click and rasterize this layer right click again and go to the blending options and you can add the color overlay to it okay so we are going to select the color over here and we can add a color from this side so somewhere around here it's fine now you go ahead you click ok and then ok if it feels too much for you, you can decrease the opacity over here that is if it feels too much for you but i think this looks better and it looks okay so the next thing we want to do we want to bring in the palm branches this is more like palm sunday kind of flyer but this is club wise okay so you go to file place embedded and you are going to bring the first leaf over here so this leaf will be centered right over here you can reposition it if you don't want it there i better still if you want to bring it anywhere here too you can reposition it you just need to use the move tool to move it so we position this right over here we go to file again this embedded and we will bring the second or the first palm this is a leaf this is a palm so we bring the first palm over here and that is going to be right here you can as well adjust it to any part you can use the control t flip it horizontal if you want it to be on this side that depends entirely on where you want it but for me i just want to position it right over here and then i'll bring in the third element which is the second palm so this one over here and i'm going to leave it i'll bring it down slightly like that if you want to readjust or position it it is entirely up to you now once you're done with this you can bring in the test like i mentioned earlier i got this test from freepick and it is a premium test but since you are following and you subscribe i'm going to leave a link to download it for free so you can download this and change it to any type of test that you want to use and in this case i used it for this so um i already saved it as a 3d so i just need to bring it in here and boom it is done with a link in the description you can easily edit this to anyone or any test that you want to edit it to so let me open it up slightly like that so easter branches and we will position it right over here next up underneath of this we are going to put a test over here we're going to use the font poppins and i've already copied my test so i'm going to paste it right over here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely like that transform it some more and then you can rotate it slightly so that it matches the angle of the easter branches right so you position it right over here so easter branches karaoke and jam for hd singer now let's make this more beautiful so let's right click on this go to the blending options and first off let's add a gradient overlay so this is the gradient 
that i'm using in case you want to use the same thing this is the first color and this is the second color okay so you click ok ok here and then you can come to the stroke over here and add a stroke to it so this is the color that i'm using also if you want to use the same thing let's reduce this slightly and we are done with that right underneath of this one we want to bring in another palm or kind of like a palm tree okay so we go to file place embedded and we will bring this one i've got two for you so you can choose any one this is from pngwing.com so you double click on that and then you can position it somewhere around here you transform it and then you bring it underneath of the easter test flyer or the easter branches okay so let's try to make that one a little bit smaller let's try to resize it slightly like that excellent and then we will reposition this also let me reposition this as well right over here and we will resize this one to match the edges of the easter branches excellent we can still position this to the left side a little bit so that at least it is centered okay if anything at all you can reposition the branches here instead so that you can see these parts it's i think this this part or this side is okay the next thing we want to do is put the date time and the people available or coming so right on top of this we are going to select our rectangle we we'll create a rectangle over here very small one nothing too big and then we will double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color to this particular color over here and then we press ctrl it to make sure that it is centered and now we can put in our test so we select our test to right inside the rectangle we hold shift and then we can paste our test over here you select all and then you can reduce the size or you can use ctrl t to transform it anyhow you want to do that so you reduce the size Ctrl T, transform it. You press Ctrl A and you make sure that it is centered. And now you take your time to position it. Right on top of that, let's right click, go to the blending options, and then you can add a gradient overlay. So this is the gradient overlay that I'm using. If you want to use the same thing, this is the first color, and this is the second color, pretty much white. Afterwards, you click OK and then OK from here. Now let's select these two group it and push it up slightly like that the next test will be the performing dj so you paste that as well and then you can resize it nicely like that and drag it slightly beneath the date okay and the next thing of course will be the location and then the contact details so we make a duplicate of this drag it over here and then we'll paste it we change the color to this color right over here and then we can transform it slightly like that you press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered push it up slightly and you make a duplicate and add the rest of the test so we select all of these paste it we change the color to this color right over here and you can press ctrl t to resize it press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now push it up slightly and together with the location press ctrl t and open it up a little bit then press ctrl g to group that press ctrl a and center it and that will be pretty much it so for the location we are going to bring in the location icon so you go to your file place embedded and then you can bring in your location icon now you're going to resize this until it becomes a bit smaller and then you can position it right over here let's right click go to the blending options and then we can change the color by using color overlay to this same color that we are using and that will be it for the location as well let's reposition it now this looks good already so let's add this to the group so that we can have it all in one place like that on top of this we are going to put the logo of the location so that is eclipse bay in takradi so you put that you transform it and then you can position it right over here you press ctrl a and then you center it and that is pretty much it the rest will be like the lightnings and the effect to be on this but before that on top of this one let's add a bit of saturation so we select our hue and saturation and then we can increase the saturation a little more so that it brings more life into the design the design looks a bit pale so you can do this and right on top of this you can put the lightings on so go to our file place embedded the first light will be here so there's a light shine I also got that from free pick so i'm going to select that 
and we want to change the blend mode so you select the blend mode and you go through the blend modes anyone we don't want it to shine like or we don't want the actual color like this so you can go through like this we want something brighter i think this one will do linear dodge or linear light let's go through and see again oh linear light is doing the work so let's go for yes linear dodge now you can press ctrl t to even transform this some more and to the extent that you can rasterize and change this using the hue and saturation okay so you can change this slightly like that if you want to make or bring in a little bit of life into it you can use this map i think this looks better so we can click ok here and then we'll bring the second one into so place embedded this light shine over here let's bring it somewhere around this area the same thing we right click and rasterize and then you can change the blend mode to linear dodge you can add layer mask to it and brush off the parts that is showing too much we don't want that and position it somewhere around here and yes just like that you create a very simple easter branches fly you can use this for palm sunday or any other easter event that you want to design like i mentioned links to download the resources will be in the description and don't forget to join the telegram channel so that you don't miss out on the upcoming trainings and designs and free resources as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye